Good morning, my name's Mike Green and I was an ordinand at St Melitus Northwest from 2016 to 2019. So our reading this morning comes from the Gospel according to John, chapter 11 starting at verse 45. Many of the Jews who had come to Mary and had seen what Jesus did believed in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what he had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees called a meeting of the council and said, What are we to do? This man is performing many signs. If we let him go on like this, everyone will believe in him, and the Romans will come and destroy both our holy, pa- holy place and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing at all. You do not understand that it is better for you to have one man die for the people than to have the whole nation destroyed. He did not say this on his own, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus was about to die for the nation, and not for the nation only, but to gather into one the dispersed children of God. So from that day on they planned to put him to death. Jesus therefore no longer walked about openly among the Jews, but went from there to a town called Ephraim in the region near the wilderness, and he remained there with his disciples. Now the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went up uh, from the country to Jerusalem before the Passover to purify themselves. They were looking for Jesus, and were asking one another as they stood in the temple, What do you think? Surely he will not come to the festival, will he? Now the chief priests and the Pharisees had given orders that anyone who knew where Jesus was should let them know, so that they might arrest him. To the Jewish religious leaders, Jesus was a dangerous subversive, not only teaching about a radical modification to the Jewish doctrine, but also practicing its consequences. This would, in their opinion, cause the population to rise in support of his views and lead to the destruction of both the Jewish state and its religion by the Romans. The religious leaders had determined that he was too dangerous to be allowed to live. And Jesus and his immediate followers knew this. Jesus, however, remained steadfast, but aware he still had teaching to finish, reduced his public presence among the Jews. The message is clear. In the face of death, Jesus was prepared to continue preaching the message accepting the inevitable consequences. Now Jesus lived in an extremely patriarchal society, but he treated women and men as equals. Women were the last at the cross, the first at the tomb. They were the first to be entrusted with the good news of his resurrection. It seems that in some ways, we've not come much further than we were 2,000 years ago. I don't know what it's like to be a woman in our society today, being objectified, harassed, worried for their safety. Let's listen to what women have to say about their experiences. We need to hear them. If you weren't actively doing this before, the last two weeks have shown that you should be now. But what I do know is that I can call out the toxic behaviour of my fellow men against women. And I call on all men to do the same. And as Jesus did, we need to continue calling this out and accept any inevitable consequences. For Jesus taught us to love our neighbour as ourselves. Amen.